Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. Okay. I'm I'm really shocked by this because I was like, oh God, please don't give me another really bad message. Cause they've been heavy, really heavy. But like I said, it is kind of this energy just like let's just like flush it through. Just flush it all through. Um, just put it all out there so that we can be done with it. You're about to go into a situation that is totally a part of it is totally in alignment with your higher self, with your values, your beliefs. Um, you're being rewarded for the lessons that you learn and you're about to receive some type of spiritual inheritance. Some of you are going to end up in a connection with someone where there's a lot of passion, but I have to put emphasis for a lot of you, the connection that you're going into this person or you, one of you may be well off financially while the other one is very well off, um, rich spiritually or both of you are just very very powerful you're earth angels and you're destined to have like some type of empire you're destined to have a lot of success um the hierophant here you guys could definitely end up being like some type of spiritual leaders or doesn't have to because i know everyone who watches tarot is not wanting to be a hierophant, high priestess, or a spiritual leader, but your gifts don't necessarily have to be shared with other people. It's it's your level of awareness and, and um, consciousness, though, that makes you a vibrational match for things that are good and great in life, okay? Some of you, you will, and I have been channeling this a lot, you will marry into money or someone, they're going to hit the jackpot when they marry you however it resonates or you and someone together your union is just going to be very very blessed and you're going to create this empire where you know i'm seeing here within like the matter of um two to five years some of you will be extremely wealthy i mean i didn't say rich i said wealthy I, you're destined for that. Of course, you know, and everyone sees success and happiness and, you know, financial stability, security, and independence differently. You know, this this has nothing to do with money, but for what you have had to go through, for what you've done, for what you have achieved spiritually, you're going to be gifted with something major. Knight of Swords is here. And here's the Knight of Wands. I feel like this is you and someone both rushing to one another. The Sun, Judgment, Ten of Swords, the Moon. Oh my God. This card was not supposed to be in this deck. I don't even know how it got here. This There's two cards in this deck that should not be here. But we have Isolation and Reconciliation. These two cards were in the reading yesterday. So... But reconciliation, so for some of you, you are coming together. This is like two of cups. You are coming together with someone after um, after going through this spiritual battle and maybe taking some time out to heal. The, the moon is here, the temperance, the strength, the ten of cups, the magician. We can make this real short and sweet. You and someone are running to, to one another. I'm hearing Whitney Houston run to you and i've been channeling that song for like three weeks straight because you and this person you are protecting each other this person that you both want to run to each other it's been quite the battle the five of wands here this is like the knight of swords is someone running like like this warrior type of energy the knight of wands is someone who is you know very daring and and driven charming and passionate but you have the sun and the moon both out here yin and yang energy but the moon was here next to the temperance so this new moon in sagittarius brought about some major changes 
I look now and I see we have the Ten of Pentacles out here, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. So, and here's the Ten of Wands. So all four tens are out here. Something is completely over. Major endings and may and new beginnings. The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles is what you're going to receive for going through the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. The backstabbing, the betrayal. Like I said, constantly suffering. Many of you have had to suffer in silence. Some of you have been suffering in silence for the last three to ten years. You may be saying, my, my life just doesn't make sense over the last decade. I just don't know how I got here. You cross paths with a, with a demon, a devil at some point. But that, that devil or whatever it is that you cross paths with, you were meant to cross paths with it so that you could grow, you could learn, and you could evolve, and you would inherit the kingdom that you once had. You had to be reminded of who you were once before. So everything in your life now is sort of balancing out. You're blending your energy most likely with a counterpart. Things are being balanced out. You're being rewarded for your patience. You had an awakening, a full-blown awakening now. You and your person. So you're going towards the sun, the strength here. You and someone, I'm saying you're very mighty, um, especially together. This is what you've been manifesting with the magician. And now you have all the tools and the resources. So this is very beautiful because it's like you and a person, you both had to go on your individual journeys towards one another. You both have gifts, talents, and abilities, but the, when the two of you come together with the type of strength that you have, that is the reason why this union has been under such uh, like a major attack because of who you are destined to be, especially if it includes you marrying someone, having a family, what this family is going to do for the collective, the type of peace and, and the way that you're going to showcase purpose through serving and through love it, it's life changing it's going to inspire the masses the devil never wanted to see this happen but you have 777 here Temperance, judgment, the sun and the moon, yin and yang energy, temperance. This is two becoming one. This is you balancing your shadow self with your with your light self. This is you balancing your feminine and masculine energy. This is two people becoming one. This is alchemy. This is transmutation. It is everything. It's the awakening. It's the awakening of two angels coming together. I think two days ago, the reading I had, I was channeling angel of mine. So for some of you, you're you're an earth angel and you're bound, you're destined to be with an earth angel like yourself or shoot, some of you, these people, it's, it's very weird because um, what I've been saying is these are like earth angels coming together, but there's different types of beings here. You know, the veil is gone. So this is like... Um, <laughs> for some people you can almost say like an alien um another earth angel you know i don't really know how to classify these different beings that some of some people are connecting with Th these are th this this goes beyond just an earth angel for some of you you know you also have like people who have like this royal dna there's a lot of different old like ancient rulers gods goddesses i don't know but these beings are very 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 powerful and it's like there's an awakening that's happening of these old old ancient souls some of you are crossing paths with some very old ancient souls this could be you or the person that you're connecting with and oh, okay when you connect with this person if you haven't connected with them already, Spirit just is telling me a lot of you, you have a lot of you. This this person could be in your life, but if they are, you recently met them. Because I can tell you now that th this is not something tragic. It's like you're meeting somebody, but for the two of you to be together, you had to fight to be with one another. You had to fight warfare to be with one another. There is a, a an initiation 
and a, a ranking up in the spirit simply because you're with this type of person this almost is like with like with angel of mine i was it's like you're choosing an angel or an angel is choosing you and it automatically ranks you it's like you kind of have to prove yourself or they had to prove themselves but the two of you you you, you just have to fight to be together because these connections in a way um oh god how do i explain this it's not so much that they're forbidden. It's just they're very, very powerful. I mean, they're, they, they, these are the connections that people hate for sure. I don't see it as necessarily forbidden, though. Um, but the, the beings that you're connecting with, you're different. You are very different. And I just keep hearing like, you're, no, you're not both earth angels. Some of you, you're, it's like an earth angel being with like a, like a, a royal king or royal queen or like a, a real emperor, like a, a pharaoh or so, like something. I mean, it's something very royal very majestic it's bigger and i'll be honest like i don't know <laughs> i don't know if these people are coming from out of space i don't know if these are angels but these people they're they're choosing earth angels and it is it's like you're awakening because either you're this angel or these angelic beings are here but they're coming into union so you have to do all of this battling you know sometimes in readings especially when it comes to divine readings and you guys i don't watch tv like it sometimes it's like four or five weeks will pass and my tv does not come on like at all i don't i don't watch hulu netflix nothing and i i pay for all of them but i don't watch them um i kind of just live in my mind to be honest <laughs> But I'm thinking of Avatar now. So, you know, and I think Avatar is coming out in a few weeks or whatever. Because I have seen the preview, but they're from two different worlds. So, it's something about it that seems forbidden, but it's like a an angel and a, and a dragon coming together or... It, Whoever you're connecting with, both of you, you have this warrior spirit, but you're from two different worlds. But, you know, in Avatar, the guy, he was like paralyzed. I mean, he. But if you think about it, it's kind of like the spirit, the spirit world. And here we're spiritual beings living a human experience. So you and the person that you're connecting with, you have your human physical body, but you have the, the spirit of a totally different type of being. Some of you could be experiencing body pain, a lot of, like I said, ascension flu. And I, I had a reading a few weeks ago where I talked about you and this person exchanging gifts. So gifts that you may not have had before this person entered your energetic field, you have them now. So, you know, they, they could be psychic or they could be a, a, a seer, an oracle or a dreamer or whatever. The two of you have gifts, but because you're merging together, it's reminding me of another reading I did, and I was talking about spinal fusion. There's this kundalini awakening with these twin flames. You're feeling this surge of energy through your body. Is what it's what I can feel it. Like it's surging through and it's elevating you because the two of you, you're on different levels. You're meant to be together, but you had to. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Bear with me, you guys. Bear with me. You had to level up. You had to you had to be ranked up. You had to level up. So you had to go through this battle, but this was divinely orchestrated. People thought that they were destroying you. They were actually leveling you up so that you could be in a union with some other with a, another divine being like yourself. This being is a star or you are a star. This is um, a healer. This is someone who is inspiring um, 
the star is destiny. It's like a star and an angel coming together. Or this person is like from a different galaxy or something. I heard galaxy. I don't know. I'm just looking at the stars here. Like this, this being is not, this is not just, <laughs> none of us are just human, but. How do I explain this? Uh, Y'all get the gist of what I'm saying, okay? Look, this is me now in the Eight of Swords in my head. Can't get out right now. Um, you're you're wearing your skin suit like your your human body, but you and this this person that you're connecting with, you're housing some other type of being, and and you're very very strong. It's a spiritual union. You're very strong though. I don't know. The star seeds, like I said, kings, queens. Um, this is like that Isis Osiris energy, you know, the the supreme like beings. This, you know, royal Egyptian goddesses, and like they're being awakened. Okay, <laughs> it's like all the tombs are opening up, and and they're they're walking the earth, and many people are embodying those energies. That's what I'm really seeing. I'll be honest. It's like the These gods and goddesses are like they're taking over people's bodies. Like you're embodying their energy. And as a result of that, you have to go through this warfare because of what you are meant to inherit. With this person, you have to be prepared for it. These this ten of pentacles here and this ten of, this is like a royal family. I'm hearing like Harry, Harry and Megan. Royal family, yeah. I don't I don't know um what else to say about this to be honest with you because we could be here all day looking at this. This is like on a totally different level. And it's it's a it's love, but it it go this goes beyond love. Th these are are people who have a purpose. Like this is um, this is legacy mindset. This is empire building legacy mindset. This this goes beyond love. This this is more than you know three D conventional marriage. Like these are the kind of people who are coming together. Who I'm telling you, like they have a purpose that the the average person would never imagine these are people who will come together and be like world leaders and like billionaires and trillionaires but through like like these are the people who will create the non-profit organizations and will go and go on mission trips and i mean like the energy that i'm channeling right now these are people here who have a huge mission huge So it, it definitely makes sense why there has been so much warfare. I, I'm really speechless. I'll be completely, I'm speechless. Like, I don't, I don't really know how, I don't know how to put this in words. Closure and courage. You have to find your way out of the maze here. It was the, the matrix. You had to get out of the matrix, but it's like you're jumping into a, a new, you're jumping into a new world. I did a reading the other day where I was talking. I said, you're like the red pill that someone discovered in the matrix. You have to hop out of this matrix, but it's like you're really hopping into another one. But you have to have the courage to go through this. Like Avatar, you know, you had to fight. It's like you had to fight a battle with a being that's not like you. You didn't, you didn't know what you were up against. You know, it's it's kind of like on Avatar, and this is you know, you see the storyline in a lot of different movies, like um, Twilight, you know, with Bella and Edward. She's fighting with vampires, you know, or an avatar. He's pretty much like a human, you know, um, but he's fighting 
for a cause for a totally different like species. You know what I'm saying? It's it's sort of like that. Like I don't know if you're fighting to be the same like vibrational match as this person or if they're fighting because they have to be a vibrational match for you. I guess it's both of you. But whatever you've done is bringing about blessings. I feel that a lot of you, though, somebody, they saw you, because I've said that plenty of times, like, somebody saw you suffering here on earth. Like, God literally sent you an angel, like an angel that you will marry and co-create with. They saw you suffering, and they were sent to you. Like, like it's like they just dropped out of the sky. They were sent to you. Or, they, or you're about to meet this person. This person has actually been in this battle with you. Because you were isolated. Like you, you were battling too much alone. Your counterpart had to come in and help you. You guys, I don't know if some of you have met this person already. I'm so sorry. Like, you may not understand, but like, if you didn't meet this person or if you haven't, even if you haven't met them, if it wasn't for this connection that you have with this person, some of you may not have made it through this or they wouldn't have. You and this person, you had to come together or one of you were going to no longer be here in this realm because a lot of you this is past life stuff where you for sure you've been sacrificed before it's almost like somebody they they felt you slipping away they 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 knew that like death was on your heels I don't know if this is someone like if they saw this in a dream, but they, they knew that if they didn't or God knew like if they didn't cross paths with you soon that like you they wouldn't have an opportunity to be with you. I'm so sorry. It's just so sad. It's it's a it's a beautiful love story, but some of you 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 came so close. You were cutting it so so close. That had it not been the strength, like for the strength of this person, and I don't want to put everything on this person, but had it not been for that extra prayer, whether it was from a friend, a family member, or someone like what you were fighting up against, it could have taken you out. And that's why I keep hearing angel of mine because it's like this person friend, family, lover, whomever, this person, they're, they're like a real angel. This is a, a temperance angel. This could be you and, and what, what you've done for somebody or you could both be protecting each other. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm telling you for some of you, you can see it here. The three of swords, the ten of wands, the, the ten of swords. You can die from a broken heart. Some of you, your heart has been so wounded that had had it taken one more beating, had this angel not come in, like this is your saving grace. And for some of you, it may not be a counterpart. 
It could just be Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael. It could be just an angel that's coming in your saving grace, protecting you and uplifting you. But for some of you, this is about a, a two of cups like situation. You've been isolated, fighting alone in this realm. And in the 3D, you've been fighting so long and hard. And you may still feel like you're alone. I, a lot of you, you're going to find out if you haven't met this person, they're close to you. They haven't always been close to you, though. It's like they, they drop out of the sky. Like, I'm hearing specific. If you guys have relocated, you're, you relocating and everything, it was divinely guided and orchestrated just so that you could meet this person. If you're feeling the urge right now to move, even if it's in your local area or to relocate, you need to go because there's an angel Who could end up being your best friend or your spouse? Someone that you're supposed that is they're supposed to be in your life, but they're close enough now to protect you. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Wow. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And 20. Something here was divinely guided. It was destined for you to heal everything in your shadow side to get to the light to have this awakening. Six, six, so that you could go towards this connection. Or whatever this this per purpose of yours is. But this is two becoming one. This is you truly getting in that energy of being chosen. But you have peace. Peace. And your psychic abilities have been heightened. This person is psychic. Don't this person look like a different type of being? I'll say. I mean, they again, human. But someone's third eye is why. Oh, like this person is very, very, very powerful. They're, they're gifted beyond, like, what your human mind could ever perceive or, or understand. That's what I'm saying. I get this person. It's like they're from a different time, a different place in space, a different galaxy. Like, they're different. And what? Oh, God. Look at these pictures. Once again... It's like this person here, like this beacon of light. It looked very um, peaceful and, and serene, angelic. And then you have this person here who is like from out of space. One of you could be... One of you could believe in angels and the other one is like all about aliens. It's, it's something different. I will tell you, it's something different about you and this person. And the energy that I'm getting is not forbidden. It's just that the two of you are so different. But there is strength in you being together and beauty. Dreams and inspiration and reconciliation. You can trust this. Whatever it is, you can trust it. Yeah, it's love and it's healing. It's a transformation here. And this place, this is home for you. Or maybe it's like you are this person. You come from a different place. Just like in Africa, they're taking you to wherever they're from. Which means that you have to be leveled up spiritually. Or this is what you're doing to this person. It's, so it's like somebody, like two people are coming from two different places. And you guys are making a sacrifice to go somewhere i mean it could just simply be someone is, is choosing to leave the 3d lifestyle behind to go into the 5d but this to me it's it's bigger than that it's more than that like somebody is leaving life as they know it completely behind to really be whoever they are meant to be spiritually the two of you come from two totally different worlds literally
willpower and spirit guide protection. Wow. You're, you're, you are being initiated. You have to demonstrate this willpower. Because I feel like you are being molded and trained to become a spirit guide. But you've been like guarded, guided and protected the entire journey. Whoever you're connecting with or whoever you are, it's like you and this person. I don't want to say that you share ancestors, but I feel like this connection, it is so, it's divinely guided and it's like, um, I'm hearing approved. <laughs> it's or it's ordained by God. It's approved. Okay. Even by your ancestors, this royal family for some of you. That's where some of this protection has come from. It's like. You're like the missing piece of this, this dynasty. I don't know why I'm hearing dynasty. It's not a word that I ever use. Royal dynasty. Empire. It, it's big, you guys. Whatever it is, it's big. And this has already been approved. Listen, it's, it's signed, cleared, delivered. You and this person are meant to be together. It's protected. If you are in trouble, like you, God, the angels, your ancestors are protecting that person, their protection is extended to you. You guys, your protection is extended to one another because... It makes it you you've become one. You're you're can't you're embodying a feminine and masculine energy of two beings that are very foreign to you, because you have ascended to become much more than what you know of, but you've also now connected with another really high level high ranking type of being as well so you're going through this ascension yourself but then your twin flame connection with someone is also ascending that's why the like the energy has been so wacky that's why the warfare because it's like a double mission you had a, a mission to become who you are but you also had a mission to be like with this person both of you were ascending, but y'all had to fight to get to each other because you don't come from the same place. I mean, just like this, this card is like a human and a lion, you, you know, like <laughs> that, that to see this is like that doesn't make sense. But spiritually, again, it's like somebody wearing a, a skin suit like. This lion probably can turn into a human if they wanted to. <laughs> and this woman could probably also turn into a lion. Like you and this person, your um, ability to shape shift. You and this person, I don't know if you're, you're astral traveling together. You're doing something together. It's a very unique type of gift. I don't know what how I'm supposed to sum this up or what I'm supposed to call this. You guys leave it in the comments like, what am I talking about? I don't know. This could be someone that's a friend of yours. Both of you could be awakening and yeah, it's a friendship here. You're realizing like, oh wow. <laughs> it's you I've been seeing in my dreams. Because some of you, you have dreams about a person you don't see their face. It's this person. For some of you, you have not met this person though. Or if you have, maybe they're just a friend or maybe it's just someone you're like, that person is so protective of me. Yeah, they care a lot about your well-being. They want you, they want to make sure that you get into your life purpose. But one of you or both of you knows that the other person, yeah, the truth card, you know that both of you are a part of each other's life purpose. And you will have prosperity together and family. Animals. You and this person are shapeshifters. I'm just going to call it what it is. I'm, that's what it is. 
somebody here is a, is like a it's crazy because the readings lately we've talked about like these really bad shapeshifters, but this is different. They this is this is a a protector. This this person the way that they can travel through dimensions somehow is very different. I don't know what kind of alien like being or angel or what this is. I don't know. Some of you who are well versed in that, you will have to live. I don't I don't know what to call it, but <laughs> it's like a, a whoosh, like a whirlwind of emotions and everything because you're being introduced to their world and they're being introduced to your world. But you and this person, you share some type of past life. You have a knowing of each other or you're just chosen to be with each other. So this is like organized chaos. It's so much chaos and craziness here, but it makes perfect sense because you and this person, like, you share a soul, like. So I don't know what kind of being you are. I don't know. Or this person. I, I really don't. I'm, I'm really speechless. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know what exactly this is that I'm, I'm tapping into, but. I don't know. I, I should probably leave it here because I don't know what to say. Like it's 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 some it's magic. It's magical. It's like angelic. It's magical. I don't know what to call. There's a. I've never looked at this deck. I haven't used it. It's called pure magic. I'm I'm being called to it now because it says pure magic and this to me it seems like pure magic. I don't know. Um I'm hearing chemical pregnancy right now. I don't know what that has to do chemical pregnancy. So Immaculate conception. Somebody is not from here. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Somebody is not an earthling at all. Like they're walking around, but I'm telling you, they're they're not. Mm mm. Cause like a chemical pregnancy is like it's obviously like there is not an actual child, but Chemically, it's a chemical pregnant. It's it's like this. It's this person is not. They're not human. There, there's no way. They appear to be human, but they're not. Wow. I whoa. Or this is you, or both of you. Cause you think about chemical pregnancy, like it will come up on a test as a as a positive, but it's like a false positive. This person, like they're a human, but they're like a fake human. <laughs> but but it's because they're like an angel or they're some type of god or goddess or something. Like they're here in this realm, like protecting you, or and and they're meant to be with you. I'm hearing dynasty, like they're meant to do all these amazing things with you but your mind would think like oh yeah you know i'm getting with a, a human who's just spiritual no this this person is beyond just like spiritual this 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 person here i don't know like in the middle of the night you may roll over and they may have like six eyes on their forehead i don't know like, <laughs> this is crazy i went from crying to laughing like i'm telling you this person mm -mm. I'm seeing like Will Smith and um, Men in Black. Like, <laughs> this person is wearing a human skin suit. They are not from this 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 place, this planet, this realm, or I don't think this timeline either. There, this is an ancient ancient soul. Florida waters. <laughs> what? Natural form. Enchanted potion, red roses, and cleansing. 
And then you have here Enigma. Drawing down the sun, wildfire, divine masculine, magnific magnificent. I think they had this word spelled wrong. Magnificence. This this is spelled wrong on this card. Witness. Agent of change and witch's wounds. Sacred heart. Huh. So you have divine masculine. So some of you, your divine masculine is a pure enigma. It says creatures of Arabic roots. I think this is Jinn. Our spirits made of air and fire. <gasps> of air and fire, you guys. That's like Sagittarius energy. That's an earth angel. Fire and air or fire and water. This is made of air and fire. But like Sagittarius, I mean, it could it could be any kind of alchemy, really. It says these spirits are made of air and fire, whose existence has been intrinsically wo woven in with another pagan beliefs throughout history. Neither innately good nor evil, the lines between demons and jinn are often blurred, embedding their in enigmatic image even further. See, that's what I'm saying. This kind of person, you can't tell, and I've said this stuff, you can't tell that this person is like an angel or a demon. You can't, they're not, they're, they're nothing about this person is a familiar like type of spirit. They're, they're, they're not human. They're not good. They're not bad. They're not, they are said to have existed y'all can y'all believe that i li i just pull these cards out and this is what this says i promise you right here i have never used these cards before and the deck has been sitting right here in front of me for months i but all i can think of is this is pure magic it literally says here they are said to have existed before the arrival of human beings didn't i say this person is like ancient they are blessed with free will and understanding of good and evil. Once again, this is like an angel. This person can protect you, but I've told you guys before, the energy that's been coming up in the readings, this person has the license to kill. This is someone here who has some type of psychic gifts, talents, and or abilities. They're a different type of being. They're an ancient soul. This person can destroy everything. It to me seems like an angel. Because all I've been hearing is angel of mine, angel of mine. This person is angelic. This is a real angel in a human skin suit. Like, I'm telling you in the middle of the night, this person, they probably have wings. I guarantee, I, I bet if this is your story, there is something about this person's body. Or something about their habits or their patterns. Eventually... The mask is going to, or if your spiritual eyes are open enough, you will see this person is an angel. This person has, mm -mm, they they probably have like 20 different eyes, all kind of orbs around them. They could have like a set of wings, something about, I bet you this person is very, very strong. It is believed that they were the ones who first taught sorcery to humankind. <laughs> These are invisible spirits, but can manifest into any form of being. Didn't I tell you this person was a powerful shapeshifter? Y'all, I... These invisible spirits can manifest into any form of being, whether animal, insect, or human. Powerful, destructive, protective, and untamed. We can learn from the spirits of Shen by understanding how to master the heart we carry. It is the emotion and empathy we can discharge into the world that allows us to be better. Earlier, I was saying something was flying around in here. I was like, something is flying around in here. Oh, my God. Look at this picture, though. This person here is a... This person... Temperance, 
sage, ancient, magical, mystical. This person has many faces. They're a shapeshifter. And this person um, has the license to kill. They can't. They can destroy you. This person is. <laughs> they're of service. They're they're an angel. They can come to Earth and and they can. They're free to make their own choices. This person, you were assigned to them, or they were assigned to you. However, this goes. But this is like a the mass this is a divine masculine energy. I feel like this is a divine protector for you, but you're meant to be with this person. Isn't that I mean that that says a lot about you. Florida waters. So Fire and water. Temperance. This is an angel. It's an angel. The, the temperance energy that we have. This is an angel here. If this, this is a divine being. I don't know if for all of you, if this is a counterpart or if this is just an, an angel that has been assigned to you. Take it however it resonates. Like, is this a just you have a personal angel that's protecting you or is this your actual divine masculine who is an angel? I that part I'm confused about. But you have here the sun and Florida waters, temperance energy, this alchemy, this two becoming one. This could be a fire sign and a water sign. Or you and this person both have fire and water heavily aspected in your chart. But I'm going to tell you, just like we read this, it says these spirits are made of air and fire. This person may seem almost robotic because they're very logical. This, this person, oh my God, this person, they understand human emotions. I should say this being, but they're not human-like. Yo, what, what is this? This is blowing my mind. This person, they have, I should say this part, it's more like sympathy. I don't know if this person can really feel what you feel like. And I'm going to tell you why. This person may not have empathy. They may only have sympathy. The reason why is because this person, they have a job as an angel to at times be peaceful and angelic, but sometimes they're an Avenger angel. This person can kill and destroy for the sake of protecting humankind. Florida water is natural form. Some of you guys, you may not like this reading. I'm sorry, but I'm I'm tapping into this and I'm not going to stop. Florida waters. It says the first act of cleansing in human lives began with the first bath after birth. And it is only fitting that we continue to use water as a sacred essence of rejuvenation and renewal. So was this like a, an angel that was assigned to you at birth? That you're connecting with now. But it says this card appears when it is time to take a step back and return to our natural form of spiritual purity and simplicity. The two readings that I did today, I was talking about decluttering. But returning to a natural form of spiritual purity is also... For some of you, you could be abstaining from sex. You could be celibate. You've had to clear away all of your karma. The only way you can be with this person is if you are completely pure. There could be no karma. This, this type of divine energy, it cannot be shared with anything or anyone else. It, it's, it's very, very sacred. It can only be between you and this being, this person. If, if this is a divine counterpart, 
situation. And I feel that for, it's different for some of you. This is you connecting with an, an angelic being. Okay. For some of you, though, this is a counterpart situation. There can be no stress, no worries, no troubles, no burdens, no, nothing. Your energy has to be completely pure. Especially if there is some type of like, I'm just like sexual exchange. This energy is so sacred and healing and powerful. It almost feels like, um, oh my goodness. You guys, if you, I'm just going to say it y'all. Um, I'm seeing it in my head very vividly right now. A sexual encounter with this type of being when both of you are at your optimal level, this you you may see you or this person like levitate. I, I'm not joking, like y'all, this is serious. Like <laughs> This this being is going to uproot you. It's going to draw out some type of um like some kind of power out of you. Or this is what you do for this person. Take out the roles can be reversed. It says, remember your inner power and dive deep into the blood of earth, the waters of life divine. When you magically infuse water with herbs, crystals, and sacred symbols, you create a powerful enchanted position to dispel heavy bonds and binds. Didn't I, I told you, this person or this being had to integrate with you energetically so that you will be protected. This is, this is what has kept you from death and disease was the integration of this i have a reading you'll have to find it where i talked about the spinal fusion and i was talking about the empress and the temperance angel i was saying that a lot of you you're you're going beyond just the emperor and the empress to me they're still 3d power couple they manifest they're cute whatever this 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 energy here this is the hierophant and the high priestess this is the high priestess and the temperance, the, the this is ancient. This is a sage, like a shaman, like priest, ancient priest, priestesses, like coming together. So you're you're returning back to your natural form. It says, dust has settled, but it is not your time to be comfortable. You are needed by a greater story. So this energy arises for you to clear out anything you no longer need in your life. Yeah, there can be no other energy that you embody when you join with this. So maybe, I don't like, is this just, um, it's like you're inhabiting some type of being, like a, a god, a goddess, or something. I'm, I'm, I can't tell if this is just your own ascension or, like I said, is this you connected with somebody? I guess it's both. That's the whole double mission. Like you're ascending, but this you have to do this ascension to connect with this being. This, which is your actual counterpart. So you're being reminded of who you once were which could have been like some very powerful being or god or goddess or something you're awakening to this lord you have to cleanse your spiritual house your your body your temple has to be clean so some of you you may have a lot of like a loss of appetite or you may suddenly feel like you just don't want to eat certain things. Again, it's the ascension food because you're exchanging with this being. You're receiving this life force energy. But obviously, if you if you embody this type of energy, you're going to become a vibrational match for the same type of energy. So it's two like a god and a goddess coming together. Oh my gosh, I hope this makes sense. 
let's look at this drawing down the sun card and then I'm gonna I'm really gonna be done because I feel like this is all over the place but I know that somebody's going to understand even though I don't really even know what I'm saying right now somebody's gonna understand this so this is divine masculine This Florida Waters card, though, says Enchanted Potion. So, again, it's something about the connection between these two people that, um, mm -mm. the waters of this feminine, the emotions, this masculine doesn't possess that. This is true masculine feminine. This this masculine, this being that this masculine, they don't have the the waters. They mm -mm. just kind of like the 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 air and fire or like air and water. It, your elements have to come together perfectly. I'm seeing for some of you, like if you if this is a another person, if you look at your charts, I bet your natal charts are very similar. In certain places, they're very similar. But I also feel that you and this person, you may have things in your charts as far as the elements, they're total opposite. Like where you're fire, they're air. Where you're earth, they're water. But I bet it's something very significant about like your north node, your rising, and your moon. Either they're the same or they're opposite. But also, if you look at the elements in you and this person's charts, just follow me because I'm I'm getting this at the same time. This is live, real life, live. Um, how do I say that? If you if you look at your North Node with this person, you may have the same North Node. Or they complement each other very well. So like your north node. Oh, no, no, no. This, no. Um, okay. So if you look at the the signs in your natal chart, in their natal chart, your signs that make up your chart or whatever may be mostly like feminine or masculine. There's this whatever is opposite. So the two of you are perfect together. Everything that they lack, you have. So like air and water. Air being very structured, militant, disciplined, um, logical, right? Analytical. That's this person. This person is, they're not... They don't have a lot of sympathy or empathy. That's just not how they process things. But then maybe the feminine is like water, you know, dreamy, intuitive, creative, eclectic, all of that. We've been talking about this in the readings. You and this person, you're total opposites, but you're the perfect. Like you, you complement each other. I mean, perfectly. When you're too, when you're maybe too watery, too flighty, this person can ground you because they have the logic, they have the discipline. When they're like a robot, you can remind them to have a bit of sympathy. It says the sun was our first father, our collective teacher of time and comfort. The very power of the sun speaks to us of the power of the gods, not merely as pure masculinity as we know it, but as an incredible driving force that is inherent is us all. The sun's magic provides protection, warmth, growth, and hope. And yet it can also provoke caution as it can burn as well as in light. See, that's what I'm saying. This person, like being an angelic being, the sun is beautiful. It it 
you know, it can help things to grow. It, it is healing. But the sun can burn you. It can destroy you. It says it can provoke caution. It's enlightening too. This this person can they can this person can destroy you. It's an angel. They can destroy you. It, remember I said they it, that all this light around this person is is like I mean they're beaming brightly. This could be you, but this person can burn you, destroy you, and they provide protection and warmth when you because of your suffering. This being had to cross your path and integrate with you to protect you because you and this being, you like have a purpose together. It says the sun celebrates the sun, a.k.a. divine masculine. The sun celebrates your successes and rejoices in the delight of your efforts and goals. It can recharge your auric field and strengthen your inner magic. See, this is something coming in to, to force you to level up. This is tricky, though, because if this is someone in your life, they know that that's what they're supposed to do because they're an ancient soul. They're like a guide to you. They're watching you. They're you don't know. They know. Ooh, this right here is heavy. This is tricky, tricky. Because a lot of people, you're a high priest, you're a hierophant, you're an empress, you're an emperor. This is next level. I mean, this is way, this is top tier, like next level. What you think, what you think, you know, they know a hundred. This person has thousands and thousands of years of, of wisdom. <laughs> You're like waking up, hopping out the matrix. Like, yeah, I'm ready. And this person is like, yeah, I've pretty much done this a thousand times. Kind of like in Twilight with Bella and Edward. Edward looked so young, but he was like a hundred something years old. And in the, I remember in one of those the movies, he they kept all of the graduation hats. He had graduated high school <laughs> like probably fifty times. He just keeps repeating this. So he's a master. He's a master. He's a vampire too. He his strength. He was a good. He was a really nice vampire. He could read thoughts like. That's the type of being you're dealing with. Someone who is truly, truly supernatural. Jeez. This can be very intimidating. I remember having a reading about the high priestess and the, and the emperor. This can be very intimidating because when you realize the, the power that this person, this being has, it can be very frightening. Um, with the sun, you can build your confidence when you are feeling burnt, raise your spirits when you are feeling dark, assert your dominance when you are being stifled and ignite your passions and command your heart to be strong and proud. Wherever you feel, there seems no other choice to make but defeat. The sun is the original spark of creation and that flame burns in you. So, like I said, for some of you, this is just you becoming integrated with this higher being that you are embodying, that you're awakening to. But that still makes you a vibrational match for the same type of being, which could be your counterpart. So take this how it resonates. You got, oh, this guy real deep. Um, I'm, a, I'm gonna study this these cards. I've never... Like, Spirit has just been telling me to do all kinds of things outside of my norm today. Wow. Water in the sun. Natural form. You're going to your natural form. Which is water, the ocean. This person, this is fire. It's, it's masculine energy. It's yin and yang. So your yin and yang energy within yourself, your divine feminine and masculine, it's, it's coming into perfect harmony. You're connecting with the angels that were assigned to you at birth. 
They're coming in to help you navigate on your journey. But coming into this awareness and this type of harmony now is also going to bring in, like I said, a counterpart. And your counterpart is just as strong, if not stronger than you. It's an enigma. <laughs> That's why you face so many battles because this is supernatural. It's extraordinary. Guys, we really just took a real mind trip. I hope that this gave somebody some clarity. I don't know. Like this, this was different. I've channeled this type of energy before, but um, you guys let me know in the comments, like, what it, what is this? Like, are you experiencing this? Have you experienced this? Um, what, like, what ancient story comes to mind? Um, I mean, I do think of, like, Isis, Osiris, like, Nefertiti. Um, definitely something, like, Egyptian here. Um egyptian like this is like greek mythology like e these are gods and goddesses like there's a major awakening that's happening so just let me know like what does this what am i channeling here what is this somebody listening knows i know i mean i have my own ideas but it's different stories for different people because everybody is not a, it's not a counterpart you are your own counterpart in my opinion always first and foremost but um yeah this is this was interesting you guys chime in let me know um what's what's up with this <laughs> it reminds me of the reading that i did last year though i was saying a stranger in your house where i was saying you have a masculine who's coming in and they're trying to test your spirit to see if you recognize them I'll have to find that reading too. So your your masculine is coming into your life to test you. They're coming in your life to test your spirit. To rank you up to like their level because they're an angelic being. You're not quite, I don't think that you're quite there. I've been saying a lot for a lot of divine feminists, your divine masculine has been waiting on you. I had a lot of readings about that last year. You've been dealing with a karmic for a long time, like a, a counterfeit, a false person. Your actual divine counterpart has been waiting on you to rank up so that you could be at the same level as them. They're in, the, your counterpart is like an enigma. They're so powerful and strong. Like <laughs> you had to go through the fire to get on their vibration to be with them or vice versa take it however it resonates but this to me looks like a divine feminine who has to who has to level up to be able to be at the same level as this divine masculine who is actually some other type of being And you have to be very pure. It goes back also to me talking about the the woman with the golden womb and you having like birthing this sun god. Your energy has to be very pure for you to join with this, this god that's your counterpart because you're giving birth to this divine being. Like there's a, a, a royal family like dynasty here. So, I mean, it's Isis, Osiris and... Horse, like, th that's what this is, right? Maybe. I don't... That's the only thing I could think of. I mean, well, um, that's not the only thing, but that's what's coming to mind. But I was saying chemical pregnancy, like, immaculate conception. Like, this is like Isis, Osiris, Horus, and Jesus, like... I don't know, y'all. I'm I'm getting out of this. This is a lot. <sighs> Somebody just went to like the tendy, if that's a, a place or a thing. You you went from 3D to like 70 overnight. 
So you have to go all through all of this because your your person like they're on another dimension. Okay, that makes sense. Your home is not here. It's like on another <laughs> totally different timeline, a totally different realm, totally different dimension, and you have to tap back into something in your bloodline to get there. And you know, most of the time, like you go through, you're awakened through some type of trauma, honestly. So you have to go through this traumatic experience and run across like these demons, devils, and everything else because it unlocked something in your DNA that's making you remember the type of being that you are meant to be. Yeah, your, your life is just about to be very different. This is a lot of like overnight success. It's, as soon as you reach this new frequency. Everything's going to just be different. I had a reading last year where I said for some of you, you're, you're, it's like, yeah, I wish I could remember I remember saying you're going to meet a person and they're going to seem just like an everyday person. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this person, they may fly you out somewhere or they may be like visiting your area or something like that. You're going to meet this person and within a few weeks, they're going to want you to move in or something. But I do remember in that reading, the, the Gypsy Oracle deck that I have there was a a, um, a service car in there and it's like a man opening the door. This person has like a driver. They have a personal chef. Like for some of you, this person, they're very wealthy. Um, they could be like a celebrity, a public figure, but I, I don't feel like this person is actually someone who, if they are wealthy, they may not be well known. This is how people say old money. They could come from a very wealthy family, but if you get in, an inside look into this person's life, it's like you you would be treated like royalty. Like like I'm telling you, it's it's like coming to America. Like you think that this person is in rags, this person is rich, but you're like you're being tested. Maybe that's what this is, too. I mean, I'm kind of seeing it from the spiritual side of it. But even if, if we bring it back earthly, don't judge a book by its cover. Because some of you, you may meet, meet a person, they're like in a t-shirt and some shorts. And you're like, oh, there's nobody. You you know, run across them in Target or something. Like, and they could be like a, a whole billionaire. And I feel like somebody is either spiritually testing you or they're testing you. They're trying to see how pure is your heart? They're not looking for a person that's perfect. They want to know, is your heart truly as light as a feather? Because whatever this person has, what they come from or what they know they're destined to inherit, you have to be the right fit. And this has nothing to do with anything surface level. But I'm telling you, when this person reveals themselves to you, both spiritually spiritually, and their earthly self to you, you're going to be blown away because I really feel like for some of you, you're being like tricked and tested. Or when you meet this person, you you have no idea who this person is. You have no idea who they are spiritually. But even here, this for some of you, this person is like very, very well off and you would never know it. I mean, like. It's like coming to America. Like they could, they could just tell you to quit your job, stop doing everything, and you would never have anything to worry about. And because this person, it, they're already tapped into you energetically. It's like when they meet you, they just know that you're the one. So I'm seeing for some of you, um, within like the first month, they may actually 
feel like you're like they want to marry you. I'm saying for some of you, you may take a trip with this person to go see them. And I'm, I promise you, if, th if this person sends, let me know if this is your story or maybe you don't want people to know. This person may literally like send a car for you. When you, when this car takes you to this person's home, you will be completely amazed. Like what? Or it's something about this person to me that I'm picking up on. I'm really channeling this person. Like I'm seeing them and everything. Um, this person is not flashy. Because when I just said spirit was like, no, I don't, I don't think that like this person, their home, their lifestyle would never, it would never be what you would expect. This person values family. This person is into like philanthropy. They're, um, I remember earlier I was talking about nonprofits and stuff like that. Like they have a, a mission to to like change the world or something but i'm gonna tell you something i feel like their family is very wealthy mm -hmm. if you get around this person's friends or family you will see the richness the luxury that's not important to this person at all this person will let you know like <laughs> There's nothing really that they, they can't do or afford, but they don't care to do that. This person could actually be very frugal. Nothing about this person is what you would ever, ever expect or suspect. Nothing. And a part of them is trying to figure out, can you, do you see their spirit? like can you know do you know the essence of who they are because they're really trying to figure out how discerning you are how loyal you are but this person is also like a spiritual guide they you've been sent to them or they've been sent to you to guide you on your journey they're watching you grow and level up they've known you before they've always watched you Again, like with this person, psychic gives, this person can see you. Okay. They can see you. I was reading something or I read something with energy. This person can travel at the speed of a thought. Okay. That's the gift. And with the, the I don't know if this person is like a, a fairy. They could have fairy blood. Okay. Okay. They're invisible. They're around you. They're with you. You don't know it. You can look back at that reading. I have stranger in my house. I feel like this person can jump in other people's bodies. Like, um, honey, this goes beyond like a, a shape shift. I don't know what this person is. Some type of being you guys that I'm not familiar with. I don't know what you call it. I feel like this is like. They can jump in bodies. I feel like they can be invisible. I feel like they can be big. They can be small. Like the book said, they can be an animal. They can be a person. They they, they can travel at the speed of a thought. So it, it, if they want, oh, sh again, like vampires, because I'm seeing in the show True Blood, if you ever watch that show, Suki, the character, she's a fairy, but she fell in love with the vampire he wasn't a bad vampire um exactly but if he felt her in danger he he would travel at the speed of a thought it's the same thing in twilight like he could he he would just appear in her room like if you notice in movies and shows where there's like vampires they don't walk or, or really drive like they travel at the speed of a thought. Like like they, they're lightning fast. So if this person feels you in danger, they're automatically there. And I feel like they can they can take over someone else's body or something to protect you. 
Hell, they may jump into your body. I don't know. <laughs> they may jump in your body. So th this is like an ancestor, uh, an angel, a guy. It's your counterpart. I don't know. It's different for everyone. But this is the type of energy that you, you're working with now. I'm, I'm telling you, like, it makes per They travel at the speed of light or a thought. Like, if you think of this person, they can appear, but you don't see them. You don't see them. You don't see them. You don't hear them. They're, like, invisible. That's like a... 